Envision a time when angels walked among us, not as celestial beings, but men of advanced knowledge and technology. According to ancient text, these were fallen angels sent to earth in the guise of men. They intermingled with humans, giving rise to a hybrid offspring, a blend of the divine and the earthly. But what if we've been looking at it all wrong? What if these angels were not divine beings, but men from the future, equipped with technology so advanced, it seemed miraculous to the people of the time? What if they were here not to corrupt, but to warn us, to guide us, to help us understand a truth that could elevate mankind to the knowledge of gods? So were these so-called villains of our ancient past truly villains, or were they saviors of mankind, the ones who seeded humanity and are now trying to free our minds? Ever heard of the uniplanetary evolution theory? It might just connect a few of these mysterious dots. This theory proposes an intriguing perspective on our solar system. It suggests that all our planets are, in fact, Earth at different stages of its evolution, visible at the same time. Revelation 21, 1, which says, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. Take Mars, for instance. Does it represent old earth, ravaged and destroyed with no more sea? And then there's Venus, earth a billion years ago. Could it represent the new earth, a pristine opportunity for mankind to reset time and continue our evolution for another billion years? It's a mind-bending concept, isn't it? However, to survive the voyage to Venus and navigate the ravages of time and space, humans would need a touch of immortality. Here's where medical nanobots come into play. These are bacteria and virus-sized robots that could potentially transform humans into immortal time travelers. Imagine that. Beings with the ability to jump through time, carrying technology from the future into our ancient past, their singular purpose? to restart mankind and align the crucial events in our history that lead to the birth of humanity and the technology to do it all over again in the future. This time-traveling process would ensure mankind's existence for eternity, reusing Earth over and over again in a bubble of time. But for such a monumental task, our time-traveler would need a team. So what if 13 fallen ones, mentioned in ancient texts, were astronauts escaping a dying planet? Each one representing a different race, ensuring the continuity of the diverse human race. These immortals, as the theory suggests, could be modern-day human time travelers, with nanotechnology streaming through their veins, making them immortals. They would be the ones to seed mankind anew, guiding our evolution and ensuring our survival. Could the Watchers be the greys evolved humans a billion years in the future? An intriguing question that turns the tables on our understanding of time and existence. Imagine a world where these watchers are not alien beings, but instead future versions of ourselves. The result of a human who dared to break the laws of time and create a hybrid race. A race we now recognize as modern man. This concept isn't as far-fetched as it may seem, especially when we consider the uniplanetary evolution theory. Each time we cross the bridge from the future to the past, our DNA evolves. It's as if we're running the gauntlet of time, adapting and changing with each step. The time traveler then isn't just the father of man, but also the progenitor of the gods, the watchers. But what about Lucifer, the bringer of light associated with the planet Venus? Could he too be a time traveler? A being who, to avoid the cataclysmic consequences of existing twice within the same timeline, must disappear for a time? Imagine that centuries before his birth he has to vanish, leaving behind a legacy carried by a chosen few, a secret society of those entrusted with his blood. These individuals, these custodians of time, set the stage quietly waiting for the future return of their immortal leader. They are the keepers of a secret so profound that it could shatter our understanding of history, of religion, and of our place in the universe. Now let's take a leap of faith. What if the savior that the world has been waiting for isn't a divine entity, but a time traveler, a being born not in the past, but in the future? A figure who is destined to return, not because of prophecy, but because of the temporal loop he himself has created. Is this the savior that the world is awaiting? The one said to return in the future, because he would be born in the future? 
What if the script has been flipped and everything we were taught about being righteous and obedient was an elaborate conspiracy to enslave our minds, bodies and souls, marching humankind through time so we can evolve to our fullest potential. Thank you for joining us on this extraordinary journey. If you are a passionate explorer of the mysteries in our cosmos and eager to uncover new perspectives, you've come to the right place. We post thought-provoking videos every day, so don't miss out on any of our mind-blowing episodes. Hit that subscribe button now and embark on more awe-inspiring voyages of discovery.